Hello students. In today's class, we are going to discuss on few questions from higher derivatives. And first question, y equal to e power a cos inverse x. The domain between minus 1 and plus 1, closed interval. We have to show that this result. 1 minus x square into d square y by dx square. Minus x dy by dx minus a square y equal to 0. Okay. We can start with y equal to e power a cos inverse x with the result 1. If we differentiate equation 1 with respect to x and dy by dx and derivative of exponential functions the function itself first and then chain rule a minus 1 by root of 1 minus x square. Okay. Then after cross multiplication, root of 1 minus x square dy by dx minus a e power a cos inverse x. It is a 2. And as a, let us differentiate equation 1, 2 with respect to x. So differentiate equation 2 with respect to x. So derivative of this minus x by root of 1 minus x square in the dy by dx by product rule keeping first factor fixed and derivative of second factor d square y by dx square minus a and derivative of e power a cos inverse x e power a cos inverse x then by chain rule minus a by root of 1 minus x square. Once again multiply the entire result by root of 1 minus x square. Multiply throughout by root of 1 minus x square. Then the second term is 1 minus x square time second derivative d square by dx square. The first term root of 1 minus x square and 1 minus x square root of cancel. So minus x dy by dx minus or minus plus a square. The remaining term is y. And this implies 1 minus x square d square y by dx square minus x dy by dx minus a square y is equal to 0. So, dear student, this is the required result. We have got it. Let's keep watching this. We will discuss one more question. The next question y equal to sin inverse x the whole square plus cos inverse x the whole square. Show that 1 minus x square d square y by dx square minus x dy by dx equal to 4. Let us try to simplify the given function y equal to sin inverse x the whole square plus cos inverse x the whole square but it can be written as sin inverse x plus cos inverse x the whole square minus 2 sin inverse x into cos inverse x. Then y is, this is pi by 2, so pi square by 4 minus 2 sin inverse of x. This is pi by 2 minus sin inverse of x. Then y equal to pi square by 4 minus 2 into pi by 2, so pi sin inverse x minus or minus plus 2 sin inverse x the whole square. If we differentiate with respect to x a derivative of y dy by dx is constant 0 minus pi uh, root of 1 minus x square 
plus 2 into 4 sin inverse x by root of 1 minus 6 by r. So multiply the entire equation by root of 1 minus 6 square. Multiply by root of 1 minus 6 square. Then root of 1 minus 6 square times dy by dx is equal to minus 5 plus 4 sin inverse x. Okay. If you differentiate in this result once again with respect to dx. x we have to apply product rule between the two factors root of 1 minus x square and d by dx so derivative of root of 1 minus x square minus x upon root of 1 minus x square then d by dx plus root of 1 minus x square then derivative of d by dx d square by dx square then derivative of minus 5 constant 0 then plus 4 divided by root of 1 minus 6 by r once again we multiply the entire result by root of 1 minus x square then 1 minus x square times d square y by dx square minus x dy by dx is equal to 4 ok so dear student this is the required result Keep watching this, we will discuss one more question. The next question, x equal to a cos theta plus b sin theta and y equal to a sin theta minus b cos theta. We should show that y square d square y by dx square minus x dy by dx plus y equal to 0. So x equal to a cos theta plus b sin theta is taken first result and y equal to a sin theta minus b cos theta the second result applying this 1 square plus 2 square you can get x square plus y square is equal to a cos theta plus b sin theta the whole square plus a sin theta minus b cos theta the whole square ok after expansion we can get x square plus y square equal to a square into cos square theta plus sin square theta plus b square into cos square theta plus sin square theta plus 2ab cos theta sin theta minus 2ab cos theta sin theta this and this cancel cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 so this implies x square plus y square equal to a square plus b square this is the result so we have eliminated the parameter theta from the parametric expression x and y in term of theta so equation 1 and 2 is parametric form of a real function then Cartesian form of the real function x square plus y square equal to a square plus b square ok if we differentiate equation 3 with respect to x 2x plus 2y dy by dx is equal to 0 and this implies dy by dx is equal to minus x by y this is fourth result looking at the required result d square by dx square in term of y square mean if you differentiate x by y by quotient rule we can get y square in the denominator after cross multiplication we can get the term y square into d square y by dx square so we have to differentiate equation 4 as it is without uh, any cross multiplication so differentiate equation 4 with respect to x okay 
So derivative of dy by dx d square y by dx square negative of applying quotient rule of x by y y square 1 in the y minus x dy by dx okay of the cross multiplication y square d square y by dx square minus y plus x dy by dx taking all these terms to the same side we can get the required result so y square d square y by dx square minus x dy by dx plus y equal to 0 okay so dear student this is the required result keep watching this we will discuss one more question hello student the next question x equal to sin t and y equal to sin pt prove that 1 minus x square d square y by dx square minus x dy by dx plus p square y is equal to 0 then x equal to sin t and this implies x, x dash or dx by dt equal to and cos t then y equal to sin pt then dy by d t equal to p cos pt and this implies we can get dy by dx that is dy by dt divided by dx by dt or y dash of t so divided by x dash of t and this implies dy by dx is equal to and p cos pt by sin pt and dx by dt cos t and squaring on both side dy by dx the whole square equal to p square the cos square pt is 1 minus sin square pt cos t cos square t 1 minus sin square t okay then dy by dx the whole square is equal to p square into 1 minus sin pt is y 1 minus y square this is 1 minus x square after cross multiplication 1 minus x square dy by dx the whole square is p square minus p square y square now differentiate with respect to x ok so derivative of first vector minus 2x and then dy by dx the whole square then plus 1 minus x square and 2 dy by dx by chain rule second derivative d square y by dx square p square any of constant derivative of constant 0 minus 2 p square y in the dy by dx ok so 2 dy by dx 2 dy by dx 2 dy by dx is a common factor divide the entire equation by 2 dy by dx other than 2 dy by dx 1 minus x square d square y by dx square other than 2 dy by dx minus x dy by dx other than 2 dy by dx minus p square y we bring the term to the left side plus p square y equal to 0 so my dear student this is a required result 1 minus x square 
यानी डी स्क्वायर वाई बाई डी एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स डी वाई बाई डी एक्स प्लस पी स्क्वायर वाई इक्वल टू जीरो जस्ट गो थ्रू इट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन डी स्टूडेंट एक्स इक्वल टी प्लस वन बाई टी एंड वाई इक्वल टी माइनस वन बाई टी देन फाइंड डी वाई बाई डी एक्स एंड हेल्स फाइंड डी स्क्वायर वाई बाई डी एक्स स्क्वायर वट इज गिवेन एक्स इक्वल टी प्लस वन बाई टी एंड वाई इक्वल टी माइनस वन बाई टी लेट एस फाइंड नाउ वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू टी माइनस वन बाई टी द होल स्क्वायर लेट इज थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाई टी स्क्वायर माइनस टू टी दी स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाई टी स्क्वायर कैन बी रिटर्न टी प्लस वन बाई टी द होल स्क्वायर माइनस टू ऑलरेडी माइनस टू देन टी प्लस वन बाई टी इज एक्स सो एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर देन वाई स्क्वायर एंड दिस सिंबलाइज वाई स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस इज कार्टिशियन फॉर्म ऑफ द गिवन क्वेश्चन एक्स इक्वल टू टी प्लस वन बाई टी एंड वाई इक्वल टू टी माइनस वन बाई टी एक्स एंड वाई वाई स्क्वायर टी माइनस वन बाई ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी वन से इन ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर ए प्लस बी वन स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस टू ए बी सो ए एंड बी टी एंड वन बाई टी कैंसर सो माइनस फोर दिस इज एक्स y square minus x square minus four equal to zero. Now differentiating with respect to x, two y dy by dx minus two x is zero equal to zero. And this implies y dy by dx minus x equal to zero. So this implies dy by dx is equal to x by y. Okay. So to get d square by dx square, let us differentiate with respect to x. D square by by dx square is equal to applying quotient rule. y square and y minus x dy by dx. Then y minus x. What is dy by dx value? X by y. Dy by dx is x by y. And divided by y square. After simplification, y square minus x square. By y cube. So this is d square y by d x square. Or, or the graph multiplication here we can have one second degree differential equation in both the variable x and y. Okay. So this is a final value. Hence, find the derivative by dx. From derivative by dx, we have to get this is second derivative. So, dear student, watch this. So, my dear student, my humble request: just share our channel name Murugan Subramanian to your school friends and other school friends. Let India, twelfth standard student of our country, be benefit from this channel Murugan Subramanian. Once again, thank you. for watching this tea this video thank you once again